Guys, the year has rolled to a close and I wanted to do this for you guys. We're going to take a look at my knife of the year, probably the best knife that this company has ever made. So let's turn us around and take a look at this awesome, awesome knife that's a budget knife from above. So guys, I think this is the first time this has happened. My knife of the year is a budget knife. This is the CJRB Echo. And we've had knives on this channel that range anywhere from several hundred dollars to the well over a thousand dollars on this channel this year. And the fact is this knife really just for a lot of reasons takes the cake. And I'll tell you why. It is just all around one of the best designed knives I've had come in this year. There has been nothing that beats it when it comes to cutting, really, except maybe this. There's been nothing that really beats it in comfort, except maybe, maybe that uh, the, it's right here, the something obscene JK V4 when it comes to comfort. But when it comes to the all around performance of this knife, nothing has beat it. So you are looking at a beautifully done blade that's almost like a sheep's foot, completely radius. It is beautiful. You've got in this one, a button lock. In this one, a liner lock. They are both executed beautifully. They both have an amazing feel. The micarta scaled ones are completely contoured. You've got a spot for a lanyard, but not a lanyard hole. You've got a reversible pocket clip. So, same thing on this. This is the button lock version. The button lock version is incredibly good. This is by far the best knife I've had in hand in a very long time, especially when you consider the reason this is my knife of the year is it hits all these wickets and it's under a hundred dollars. This knife hits so far above its weight class. This is the best knife that CJRB has made. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably the best design that Ray Laconico has come up with. You've got this beautiful, beautiful top flipper, which I'm typically not a fan of. It is done brilliantly. It is every bit as good on this micarta version with the liner lock. The button lock on this is amazing. Uh, CJRB has put out some of the best budget button locks that I'm going to tell you are better than some of the higher end button locks I've had come in. This one, just incredibly good. Action on this, super smooth. Being able to do that top flip like that with this knife and being able to do it with my index finger means a lot. The way it sits in pocket, super, super comfortable. You have something that's kind of out of character for a knife. It's got a rounded spine and a fairly flat interior, and that gives it a unique feel in hand, and it can't sit down almost like a pistol grip feel that drops you right into the cut. It is chamfered on both sides with this finger choil because it doesn't have a lock, which is something I have to admit you lose a little bit on this, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. You don't give up anything in comfort, left or right-handed. Because this is a button lock, it has a reversible pocket clip. Now, on this one, the way this is chamfered, you have a very, very good feel in hand. It feels incredibly good in hand. It just it doesn't have any sharp corners, any hot spots, but the flat scales on this one, every bit as good. I'm not going to say that either one is better. My preference is the button lock, but I'm going to tell you this is still knife of the year right here because it's the same knife. The reverse flick on this, beautiful. The way this cuts with this belly, it's, it's all belly around, but it's still slightly radius. And then it is brought down nice and thin behind the edge. So your sweeping cuts are just great. Another thing, it can'ts down a little bit. So when you're push cutting, like say you're push cutting into something, you you can start right here at the tip and just push all the way down through. You've got some jimping on the flipper tab that turns into jimping on the spine, which is actually pretty well done. It's not super, super slick. And then these flat scales, for some reason, are just so much more comfortable, so much more comfortable than other knives that are more contoured. I, I typically would tell you, go with the contour on this. Amazing. I find this to be a little bit more comfortable in hand. You've got a, a spot here we can get all the way up on this and power down through and cut so you don't have an actual finger choil but you've got a shelf here that you can get up on and unlike a lot of other knives that have got spots like this it's not done in a fashion where it comes up really tall and then back down where it's wasted space it's like having a choil without having a choil just an incredibly incredibly done 
design. Now, I'm not going to say it's perfect. It's really, really close to perfect. But there are just a couple small little things. Um, and I know that I'm going to forget. So I'm going to tell you now, that does not really, that really does not impede the way it feels left-handed. Uh, you've got incredibly good lock bar access on this. I forgot to mention that. And like I said, the fact is, even though it is a really good top flipper, you can slow roll this. So with that being said, let's talk about some negative things right after you guys hear from a sponsor. Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. So the issues I have are, are are present on both knives. And the first one is the pocket clip is great and it's not a hot spot, but I think I would have liked it more if it was changed, if the angle was changed on it just a little bit to come up a little bit because it sits in your pocket kind of at an angle and it like cants over and it takes up more space than I would want. And that's, that's just, it's not a comfort issue. It's just an in the pocket issue. Um, so that would be the first one. Next one, the lanyard post, I would have moved it further back. I probably would have swapped the position of these two. I understand why they did it because this actually locks in and it's, this screw goes through there. You can see that that's part of the hardware, but I would have wanted my lanyard a little further back, not sticking that far in. You know, if you're going to put a lanyard on it, it puts it in a weird position where it's sticking out the side, not back towards the back. And then the basically the final thing, that I would say, and this is one that this doesn't share because this has all the same other features as this knife, but this one is explicitly on the button lock and it's how high the button sticks up out of the pocket when you've got it in the open position. It's not like I'm worried about disengaging the lock, but you definitely can feel it. Oh, there is a final thing. I'm sorry, there is one less thing after that. It's just something that's there. It's kind of like a tactile thing. I can definitely feel that that button is up pretty high. And then the final thing that I would want, because I am up on it like this, I think I would have wanted the jimping to come a little further up the blade, probably up to about here, about to the, to the end of that. That way you've got like your whole thumb because I'm not really often cutting with it here. I'm definitely cutting with it further up and even to where I'm up on there like that. And I definitely am, am cutting with my thumb even up past where the jimping would stop. But right there, is where my thumb usually winds up and I would have wanted some more jimping up there. It, it, I don't know if it would have posed an aesthetic issue with the lanyard, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the actu actuator hole, your reverse flick hole, your aperture there um, being close, but I think it would have just been, it would have felt a lot better to have that up there when you're cutting. Other than that, this is probably the best knife that CGRB has ever made. I know a lot of people love uh, the Pyrite. I know I said that in the intro. A lot of people love the Pyrite series. This is the best knife that I think CGRB has made, hands down. And I absolutely love it. So let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. I had to think really hard as to whether this really did that much better than so many other knives. And if you guys are wondering why it looks like this knife is pristine, because this isn't the one I cut with. I saved this knife aside for the rest of the year uh, because I knew it was gonna, I was gonna film more videos about this. So just an incredible knife. I it, it doesn't, knife of the year does not have to be the most expensive knife or the most over-the-top knife. I could have easily picked one of those much more expensive knives. But the fact is, where it really counts, this just did better. It's a great knife. Ray, if you're watching this. Love this design. I think this is your best design. It's definitely the best knife CJRB has ever made. So guys, with that being said, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. It is New Year's. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, you, I didn't, I'm going to throw an ad in, but just remember, you don't have to purchase any of the things down below, but I really appreciate it. It supports the channel. I've got affiliate links down below. I've got sponsor links down below. Some of the sponsors have got discounts built on Coffee Brand Coffee, Temper Trail, it's 10% off. I have a coupon code that works at both of those that also works at Beyond EDC. It'll save you 40%. Uh, Rosecraft Blades save you 10%. And Farron Forge Knifeworks, it'll save you 10%. And that coupon code is crazy sharp. All one word, all lowercase. 
not all of those. I don't all get, I don't get paid by any, well, well, by all of those, I should say. I, some of those things are just discounts I'm offering. But if you really want to support the channel in other ways and you can't find things you want there, affiliate links down below. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Most of your major vendors, Blade HQ, GP Knife, Knife Ship Free, all those ones down there. If you're looking for knives, you're going to pick them up. It supports the channel. Amazon store is down below. Uh, you can take a look at that and pin it to your browser. Use that for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. That would be great. And take a look at my memberships down below. You can pick a tier that works for you. I do giveaways. I do exclusive content. Uh, there's a premium tier sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube. But basically, we have a lot of fun because there is a private Discord server. But there's also a public Discord, public Discord server down below. Join that community. Have fun and hang out. Guys, that's it. Happy New Year's to you all. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.